Dear all, good afternoon. Thank you for your participation today in our uh, webinar regarding continuous emission monitoring systems from ABB. Uh, my name is Antonis Asimakopoulos and I'm responsible for ABB Greece in the Marine Department. Uh, your microphones will be muted till the end of the presentation. In case you have any questions, please do not hesitate to, to ask at the end of the presentation or with a message in our chat window during the presentation. Uh, our presenter today will be, will be Mr. Bill Chen from ABB China. And in case you have any comments or questions, please feel free to contact us as ABB Greece in services dot marine at gr.abb.com. Few words regarding ABB. ABB comes from uh, the merge of ASEA and Brown Bovary, two companies with roots back in the uh, 19th century. During 1988, the two companies merged and the ABB brand uh, uh, created as a brand bovary. ABB Marine today uh, has uh, offices in more than 20 countries uh, and employees more, more than 1,000 employees. ABB in general has presence in more than 100 countries. And in the map, here you can see all the marine service stations. When we are talking about marine service in ABB, we are talking only for electrical parts, services, products, automation, etc., not turbocharging. So, Bill will present now our emission monitoring systems. Bill? Yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Here is uh, Bill Chen, Product Manager of this Marine Sense. I'm very happy to have this chance to share this session with all of you. Okay, so AVB, I will take in control for this. Okay. So in front, in all of this uh, marine product and solution, ABB recently market launch for continuous emission monitoring system for marine exhaust gas. With this monitoring system, it also can connect with ABB Marine advisory software and collect the data in order to help customer to have the proper record and the compliance of the regulation for the gas emission. I'll move to the next slide. Gas emission by ships. There's always a question why we need a gas emission. The answer is now it's very important. The gas emission monitoring will tell us how much of the key pollutes will be released to the atmosphere. And to compliance with the regulation of the MO MAPO Appendix 6. The next one we can see is it also can help monitoring of specific gas and optimize the combustion efficiency with CO and O2 measurement. So basically the green color for the major pollut pollutants which we are going to uh, monitor on the emission and record properly. One is uh, CO2, carbon oxide and uh, SO2, sulfur oxide and uh, nitrogen oxide. The MEPC, the IMO, 
which means the Marine Environmental Protection Company. The MEPC, Marine Environmental Protection Committee of the IMO, the International Marine Organization, has released the regulation for control the environmental. The first one is reduction of the sulfur content. For this, MEPC 259-68 is clearly defined under requirement of the ISO 2 emission. Number two is for reduction and control of nitrogen oxide from diesel engines. That is referred to MEPC 177.58. ABB Marine CEMI system can help customer to monitor this ISO2 and NOx. In the next slide, you will see how do we provide. Emission control area, we normally call ECA, is already defined by the IMO. It will be start with the North and the Baltic seas. In this area, SOX will be compulsory to be implemented for monitoring. Any ships cruise in the ECA area. It will be have two compliance. SOX emission regulation and NOx emission regulation. So North American Coast and United States Caribbean Sea also have joined this area. In the red color, you can see the location. For the orange color, it will be in the future. And more will be discussed if those countries will join to this ECA is ECA area. In this slide, you can see, moving from 2015, January, all the ships going to this ECA area must meet 0.1% sulfur content in the fuel oil. Globally, there will be a discussion regarding how to define uh, on the timeline, but basically in 2020, they will be have a, a sulfur reduction further to 0.5% for global sea cruise. So in MEPC 184, and this is the previous one, the newly one is 259. It's already defined relations, correlations between sulfur and ISO2 emission. In the list, you can see 0.1% equi equivalent with 4.3 ratio value, that is, SO2 divided by CO2. So normally CO2 will be 10%. So you can see SO2 finally has to be reduced to 43 ppm. I will do, move to the next slide. This is regarding NOx regulation. So NOx regulation for uh, NOx technical code will apply to tier three, will be enforced starting from January 1st this year, 2016. Abatement system is necessary to install after diesel engine to meet this requirement. So all the new ship built, which will be operate in the ECA area, tier three must be have to be compliant. With ABB system to monitoring the NOx emission, it will be clearly indicate this is within the limit or not. Now we come to our ABB advanced emission monitoring system for marine. You can see this system will be include basically three parts. The first one 
on the below you can see is the sample probe on the left is the sampling cabinet on the right is analyzer cabinet this modular setup and design will be fit into different environmental of the ships in order to have a more flexibility for installation. So in the um, main feature, you can see ABB system can provide one or two gas analyzer modular with either one or two pumps. So we can monitoring ISO2, CO2 ratio plus O2. We also can add NOx, as well as we can add CO for measurement. This system has a, a what, the yeah. type of approval certificate from Royal mm -hmm. Register. And this is also under category ENV2, which means this system can be installed under 5 to 55 degrees. On the compliance side, this system is fully compliant with MEPC 25968 with the Lloyd Register Certificate for SO2 measurement. Compliance of MEPC 177, which is the NOx measurement, is also on, on the way to be released. The schedule is in Q2. So the first cabinet on the photo on the left, you can see that is our analyzer cabinet, which we installed. It's a modular size. We install different module will be have a different measurement for socks and NOx. The photo below, that is our sampling condition system. It's basically to cool down the sample and make it suitable to be measured by the analyzer. Detail will be have in the next slide. This slide will be have more details regarding the design, the component to be used in this system, which you can go through this. But basically, we want to tell custom this, this is a full solution can provide for SO2, CO2, O2, CO, and the NOx measurement. We also offer two streams to help customer to save. Within one system, you can measure actually two engine exhaust. I'll move, to, I'll move to the next slide. What benefit we can bring to customer? First, this is multi-component analysis with one monitoring system. With the modular design for future pollutants, upgrade is also possible. The other hand is because it's IP65 cabinet and can be installed under 5 to 55 degree it's actually a very robust design. The very important thing is this one also have law register type approval certificate. So this TA certified system can be used with any scrubber in order to have a compliance emission monitoring. In this slide, you can see to fulfill marine special requirement, we also provide calibration cell, which means when ship install this system, you don't need to using cylinder gas to calibrate this system. Instead, we can use built-in calibration cell to do this calibration calibrations. Then after six months, then we can using actual test gas to do the calibration. For this technology on land-based use, globally, ABB already installed 100,000 analyzers. 
So we want to bring the successful, reliable technology into the marine industry. Here I will have a short introduction regarding the technology. For SO2, CO2 measurement simultaneously, we are using NDIR technology. That is the IMO referred technology and accepted by MAPO. NDIR means for non dispersive infrared measurement principle. So basically, we are using infrared with the sample cell, then detector will get the readings. This system have also get DMV gel approved. For NOx measurement, we were using the UV technology. That is a very advanced technology and ideally can measure for NO and NO2 separately. Also, there will be no influence for the CO2 and H2O. The advantage is that one will be uh, a white to use ozone generator like the CLD principle and there's no NOx converter required. This one was also get DNV gel certificate, but for ABB, this product, the plan is on the Q2 will receive the DNV gel certification. Regarding for the O2 oxygen analyzer, the technology is using electrochemical sensor, which was accepted by the MO reference. As you can see, this is very similar as the battery used on the car, They're using the sour electron to release the oxygen. Okay, so ABB Marine SAM system is using extractive methodology. Basically, from this graphic, you can see well, we use a sample probe will take the sample, then with the heat treat sample line, transfer to the, the other area, which, for example, control room. Then analyzer will be measure this exhaust gas, then give the proper reading. That is follow the MO MP, MEPC 177558. Here is our system background. From here, you can see this system basically is installed after scrubber. Scrubber will be removed the sulfur. After removal, then the exhaust gas will be using the extractive heat treat line. And with the cooling and the pump, make it into the analyzer cabinet. Inside the analyzer cabinet, the analyzer will be continuously online to analyze this and monitor SO2, CO2, O2, as well as NOx. On the other hand, all the signal will have a hardware I.O. for analog and digital go to DCS in customer side for data recording and monitoring. At the same time, this system also provides mode bus communication and the internet communication, where this one can be connected to the ship advisory system like uh, AVB Octobus. So now our basic is for NDIR analyzer. With the option, if you have uh, more requirement, we can add analyzer module. This slide will give a clear picture which we are going to monitor. So for after diesel engine exhaust gas, we will have will have a denox. Normally, it's an ICR system to remove NOx in order to meet MEPC 177 NOx emission. Then the system can be installed after denox in front of the scrubber. 
or that one also can install scrubber downstream to monitor ISO2 after scrubber remove the sufferer. So TA8U630M is the system's name. In this system, we have uh, six standard configurations to meet customer current requirement. The basic system is for one scrubber outlet, and that will be measure CO2, ISO2 ratio, and oxygen. Expanded system, in some system, the scrubber also removes the CO2. So customer will request have a upstream scrubber CO2 measurement. So in this case, you can see we have two sample probe. One is inlet of the scrubber, the other is outlet of scrubber. With one analyzer, this one can measure. In configuration three and four, Configuration three is very advantage to customer, which means when you have a main engine with scrubber and the auxiliary engine with scrubber, with one ABP system, you can monitor simultaneously for these two scrubber outlet, CO2 SO2 ratio plus O2 oxygen measurement. Configuration four is basically beside basic system we also install one analyzer module, which is uh, LIMAS, to, mon to measure NOx. So in one system for configuration four, you can monitor five components. Configuration five and six, Configuration five is the similar with configuration four. The only difference is the inlet scrubber CO2 measurement. Configuration six, that is for SO2, CO2, O2 plus CO measurement. So ABB system is very flexible to have more configurations. All this will be depend on customer feedback and the request. ABB will provide a solution to customer. Besides TAA630M, uh, six configuration, if you can see under the sample point, it just give a summary to tell customer we can map, measure downstream scrubber and upstream scrubber. But most interesting for uh, recently for most of customers from marine shipyard and ship owner, they are very interesting on the C3, which is two scrubber with one system measurement. ABV advisory system October's also have a successful link up with marine thing 630M. Octobus can be acting as a SAM star system to collect emission data and the reporting. So if the ship installed Octobus, then there will be seamless communication with mode bus TCP to link these two systems. In the control room, it can be easily to get this emission monitoring reading. Besides TAA 630M, ABB also have a product, TAA 330M. In this list, comparison can show to customer. If customer have a simple requirement just for SO2, CO2, and NOx, and with one cabinet concept, then customer can go for TAA 330M. But the protection degree for TA330 is IP54, 
and operating temperature is maximum 45 degree. Uh, the other one difference major is GAA330 will have a DNVGL compliance certificate, while GAA630 have a type approval LOI registered certificate. And the GAA630 has two cabinet setup. So one can be installed close to the sample, the other one can install in the control room. Until now, I hope customer will have a clear picture what is ABB Marine DMS system. And I would like to have uh, time to answer all your questions. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Bill. I will, uh, dear all, I will unmute now your, uh, your microphones. So please feel free to to ask any question you have. Any question? Yes, yes, please. Any question? Yes, can you hear us? Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions uh, regarding ABB's emission monitoring system? Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, of course, of course. Good afternoon, and uh, thank you for the presentation. I have one question. Yes, of course, Antonis. Good afternoon. Uh, you know, the, the NOx certification is applied with uh, specific fuel and, of course, specific temperatures. But uh, the combustion of heavy fuel oil and combustion of diesel oil is very much different. So if you measure the NOx measurements with HFO, how can one reduce them to MDO, as IMO prescribes? I mean, the reading that we will get with HFO will mean nothing. Okay. I think for, because this regulation requires tier three for all the ships operate in the ECA countries. So ABB system is just to monitoring after the SCR, normally we call the NOx equipment to remove the NOx then to have the reading record to match with the regulation limit. Then this one can prove this engine, diesel engine plus this ICR is compliance with the ECA requirement. Yeah, but if, I, if, I, if we buy a certified DNOX after a treatment, why should we invest to confirm that this is working properly? Yes. Uh, I think your concern is right, because in this world, there's two approach. One is the diesel engine plus a certified DNOX equipment. The other one is the diesel engine will install a SCR for the equipment. Then they were using a certified CMS system to prove this is on board is online to monitor and prove that the emission is meet regulation. So for those with that uh, SAM system, continuous emission monitoring system, when the DNOX equipment and the engine on the ship go into the other country, the demonstration of this system is compliance will be different. Basically, there will be have more documents need to be shown to the, the regulators. So some customers, they prefer using an online 
set system because that data recorded is certified can be easily and on time to show to any inspectors. Okay, uh, any other questions? Antonio, do you have any other questions or anyone else? Yeah, I think that this would be very interesting also in case somebody would like to change some engine components. For example, the major or the supplier of uh, fuel valves or plungers or pistons, and still have a valid certification that meets the notch. That would be of benefit for tier two, of course, not tier three. Yeah, that's why for, as I know, most of diesel engine, they already can compliance tier two, the problem. But in, in the technology uh, point of view, so far, engine maker, they cannot compliance tier three. They must install the DNOX system. Normally we call abandonment system. That's normally have two technologies. One is ICR, the other is EGR. So when they have a land-based test certified system, that will take them for a long time to go for the approved certificate. But ABB provides online system monitoring system can be installed on the ship to prove this data anytime. Is this a requirement from the, author, from, uh, the administration for this? Is this part of the MARPOL verification? In the yes. MARPOL METC okay. requirement, that is talking about the, how to do the DNOX, reduce the NOX. So as I explained, both ways either can be done, can be accepted okay. by, okay. by MAPO. Okay, any other questions, please? Okay, if we don't have any other questions, I would like to thank you all for participating to our webinar today. Uh, a couple of days after uh, the webinar, we will send you the PowerPoint, the presentation of this uh, webinar, and also a YouTube link where you can find uh, the presentation and also uh, all the questions with their answers uh, from today. Thank you very much all and uh, have a great afternoon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.